Okay, I want to just talk to you guys about the benefits of no fat. The benefits of abstinence, of obedience. Um, obedience to what? You know what? At least if uh, we're going to have anything to, any common ground, any resonance, then you know what? I can't describe it. Um, but I feel it. I know it. I no longer believe it. I know it. Um, it's the difference between belief, I think, happens from the neck up, let's say. Knowing is like a full, full experience. It's like body, mind, soul. Like there's just knowing. And it's beyond the mind. And uh, so I know. And I'm getting to know uh, this isness it is i am you are we are i am that i am and you are that too so these are all words that point at something so i'm uh currently feeling triumphant man and i've been on this path for a little while now and it started off pretty easy because I don't want to say easy, but it was natural, kind of like effortless because of pain, man. Like I got driven into this path by the pain and the consequence of my misdeeds, of my misaction, of my uh, lust-driven behavior and thinking, really. It's the thinking. It's the thinking that causes the, the poor actions, and it's the poor actions that cause the consequences. So at the root of it, is the way that you think about things. And so that's why uh, just simply abstaining from porn, for me, that's not enough. That's that's not, that's ground zero. That's like not eating fast food. That's like not uh, <laughs> committing sins against my own body, my own being. Um, it's a self-respect thing. So taking it a step further and not even engaging in, in lustful thinking, like not even uh, looking at women's bodies, you know. Um, now, I'm still in a body myself, and so I notice bodies too, and uh, occasionally, like, I, some, somebody catches my eye. Um, but what I do is I immediately go back in, inward, you know. That's an outward expression. I'm looking at somebody's body right? And that the per, the person's body is just like, they're, it's as meaningful as the clothes they wear, or the car they drive, man. It's just, it's just this, this thing that, that they're operating in for a temporary amount of time. But beneath that is the person is the, is the real person, right? And so I am no longer okay with myself objectifying uh, people, period. Um, man, woman, whatever. There's no you know, and there's a way that, like, even heterosexuals can objectify the same sex. And you can objectify yourself. I did it for years, you guys. I w and, you know, this is what I would call vanity. Um, or, you know, it's like a form of idolatry, whatever, you know, we could, whatever word you want to give it. But the, the point is, is, man, I was really fixated on the surface of things. And the surface of things is always changing. And so being fixated on that causes suffering and grief and disharmony and discontentment. And it, there's just no way around it. You guys, a lot of people, you know, maybe you're in a privileged enough situation in your life and you're, you know, sort of shielded from the elements, let's say like you're very rich or something. And maybe you can just stay distracted until the day you die. But that's not been my experience. I don't you know, I run out, the things I was doing stopped working. And so I had to do something different. I just had to. So the benefits, man, I'm getting to a place that's brand new to me. Um, as an adult, that's for sure. It's more like how I was when I was a kid, except I'm an adult. Um, so I have more wisdom and life experience to add to this sense of kind of purity and innocence. That's kind of re, uh, igniting inside of me. And what's happening now is an absolute miracle um because no longer man i was so i was so visual i was so 
you know, like if I was going to date somebody, she's got to be smoking hot, perfect body or else I'm not into it. And I realized like that was like this really limiting thing, man. So now I'm like, I can only date girls that like look a certain way. And the problem with that is, man, the girls that look <laughs> a certain way, you know, my type, uh, <laughs> they tend to be, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. All right. I don't want to throw shade on anybody. I don't want to make any general sweeping judgments. But let me just say this. I'm at a point now in my life where if a woman is going to come into my life and, and I'm going to have intimacy, it's purely about who she is as a person. I don't really care what she looks like anymore. It's not like a factor to me. And it's weird. It's, it's amazing to like listen to myself saying that because it's so radically different than the old me's way of thinking. And I'm excited because I feel like this is, this is the truth. This is like the, this is the best way to be if you're a man, you know? And I think all of us know that we all know it deep down. You're not supposed to like judge a book by its cover. You're not supposed to like marry somebody cause they're hot. It's, you know, that fades. Like we know this stuff, but we don't necessarily act on it, you know? And I feel like that's really all I've done. That's been so uh, beneficial to me as I've gotten in alignment. It's like the stuff I already knew is now operative in my decision-making process day to day. And so I'm in a greater place of alignment with myself. And there was a phase that I just sort of went through. It's like, I went through a storm with this where it was like, it was starting to get, I was starting to feel so restless and so kind of like, like angsty, like, you know, and it started, my mind started going into like, you know, I, maybe you need to have an orgasm, <laughs> you know, you need to, maybe this isn't for you, man. Like, you know, your brain comes in and, and it's like, even I was even getting like cravings for like drugs and stuff that I haven't done in a long time. And just feeling off, man. And, and really like that was, as I sit here now, like that was a spiritual attack, you know, and, and it's natural. It's not like I don't have to sit here and be like, you know, get off of me, you stupid demons. It's like, no, those, those demons are, uh, people that I sort of made deals with in the past, you know, whether I knew it or not, I like kind of shook hands with these demons and I invited them. I invited them into my life by, uh, being a sinner, man, like straight up. And so, uh, it's like, just because I've all of a sudden, uh, stopped committing some of those sins doesn't mean that I am not going to experience consequences from prior actions. You know, those things kind of stick with us for a while and, as long as you're in a body too, you're going to have temptations. They're going to come and you can call them spiritual attacks or demonic interference, whatever. But, uh, the fact of the matter is that there's something in you or something in me that is untouchable. It's untouchable. And the more I protect my energy and my life force, and the more I, uh, abstain from these like outward expressions of like, eh, I want to, I want to intimacy. I want to, penetrate somebody like I want to, you know, and I'm not, I'm like more, it's, you know, I've used my hands. I'm doing this more than I'm doing this. Right. And this is like investing in me. And that is bringing me all of this, uh, power, basically power over myself, which is the power I've always lacked in my life. And so I've given it away. You know, the, the girl has the power, the job has the power, the money has the power, the future scenario that I imagine is going to make me happy has the power. So I put my power in all of these like really illusory temporary things. And I find myself powerless. So now I put that all back in and I find myself powerful in the, in the righteous sense that I am now in, in control of the way that I act and the way that I react. Um, so it's a whole new world, you guys. And this is all the benefit of abstaining from lustful and, you know, over sexualized kind of behavior that is the norm in our society. Um, so, all right, that's all I got to say for now. Be good.